Hello, my dear friends. I'm back from vacation and I just wanted to take a moment to pop on. If you sent me emails, I will be getting back to you over the coming days. If you have any questions about the Rise Goddess, when you can start or the Divine Child Healers program, feel free to reach out. I'm available for discovery call now this month. With the Divine Child Heals program, we will start on September 5th and we have a beautiful group already and there's room for more. So if you feel called, let me know and we can chat about it or you can go directly in to sign up. You are most welcome. Okay, so what have this vacation been used for? Let me hear from you. What have you been doing this, this vacation? Or maybe you're still having time off and enjoying some peaceful, quiet time. Maybe you're out traveling. So I was supposed to have been traveling, but plans changed last minute. So I was staying here back in Denmark and I live in a beautiful area. So I had really time to explore my local area and do fun things, meet people, enjoy, go for walks by the beach where I found this little cute piece of amber. Amber is by the way, associated with Archangel Uriel, who is working with wisdom and action steps, like integrating the higher wisdom and moving it into physical action. So one thing I want to share with you and talk about is the thing about moving our divine inspiration into action. So that has been coming up actually for quite a lot of people I've been seeing over these past couple of weeks, like how does it work with our intuition? How does it work with our inspiration and how do we um, channel it into form and what if we feel fear coming up what is then going on is it something to be avoided or are we meant to move forward regardless of uh, is it best to hide on the, the couch or <laughs> is it better to confront the fear directly so I will say that this time of the year is a perfect time to really revise your um, your relationship with what you're doing right now, with the, with the life that you're living. So the inspiration that we get uh, around this time is often uh, coming directly from our higher wisdom. So it comes through when we take more time to rest and to be relaxed and to be in our joy. So therefore at this time of the year, we will often see after vacation, we might feel inspired to live completely different. Might wanna do something else. For me, I have by now really aligned with my joy. So I feel very joyful coming back. And you, as I said, you all have given me a lot of inspiration to move forward with. So that's just fun, but still, how is this working for you? Do you feel joyful and uplifted coming back to work maybe? Or are you feeling that there's ways that your energy could be used better? But do you also feel that this might not be within reach or you might not really know what to do about it? How to shift from one, one path to another. So here I will say that it's actually a matter of trusting. Surrendering, trust, tr trusting and allowing, allowing the new to come to you, but also setting goals, setting intentions. And as I see these things, it's not about going out and taking as an action. It is truly a part of allowing. But if we are like this, so I want this, but I can't have it. I want to hide under my bed instead, or I cannot move forward with this because my life is so different to everyone else. So I'm just tied down by my job or things like that. If we're holding that in that energy or maybe saying, oh yeah, I, I had this great big dreams, but my spouse wouldn't like that or whatever it is that comes up, it is time to go in and revise those beliefs because everything is a reflection of who, who we are, how we are vibrating, who we are in the moment. You can say how we are vibrating. So. We really need to allow that. And that's what goal setting can help with and start taking aligned action steps. It can help with that. It can help us to allow because truly naturally, if we just allow ourselves to vibrate at our 
highest, uh, you could say, our highest, highest potential, we will just naturally have it reflected. We will naturally move with the steps that will lead us and guide us to those, those places that we want to go. But it's the holding back, it's the resistance to our own dreams and desires. And there are many reasons why this resi resistance is there. But just to get started, it's important we allow these higher visions to come in and allow ourselves to move through the discomfort of letting those beliefs go. And that's a really important part. I talked to one of my clients about it yesterday. Beginning being comfortable with, with feeling uncomfortable. It's important that we allow ourselves to move through these stage, stages of discomfort. I don't know any, maybe you do, <laughs> who move through these cycles of expansion without any discomfort. It is There is something about going into uncharted territories that can bring up discomfort. And in the beginning, it might be a lot. We might feel a lot of contractions. And then later on, less and less. But still, there is something about moving into the new where we will feel, oh, there was some resistance or whatever that was. I just wanted to share that because that's something I've seen pop up in many and my guides say these next three to four weeks is a great time to just expand, expand, expand and grow your feeling of self, who you are and allow that to be reflected back to you. So setting goals and intentions and dreaming, it's all about it the same. It's not because you have to live up to something. It's a part of like expanding your view on yourself so you can see that you're worthy of more, that you can see that you have been dreaming more before coming here. You have been dreaming greater dreams for you than the life you're living at this moment. And maybe you're already on the path and really enjoying it. And then I believe you will as well get more inspiration, more invitation to expand, more desire to just explore the new. So it's different how it feels in each and every one of us. But that is just what I want to put out there for today. Is I love you all so much. And I look forward to connect with many of you this week and in the coming weeks. See you soon.